What's that? Oh, no, a friend just sent me a really stupid meme. <laughs> it's, um, here, come take a look. No, you'll like it, I promise. Come here. Yeah, see, here on my phone. Just lean in. Got you, got you. <laughs> got you. No, 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 you're not getting away. I let you go this morning when we got out of bed, and I have been regretting it ever since. So, you, my dear, are going to sit in my lap for now, for now. Oh, boo-hoo, you'll be all right. I know you've got stuff to do, and so do I. So, listen, we both have to make sacrifices in these tough times, okay? <laughs> oh, stop squirming. I'm not going to let you go. This is the part of this that I really don't understand. Like, my arms are completely wrapped around you. I've got both of your hands in my iron grip, and I weigh twice what you weigh. So what's the scenario where you just bust out of my grip and I can't control you? That doesn't happen, baby. That's never happened. It's never gonna happen. So why don't you make yourself comfortable here in my lap where you belong? Why? Why do I want you here in my lap? God, I guess the long answer is that when you're sitting in my lap, I can just see and touch and access every part of you you know you're just like a little doll in my arms and that feels really good releases feel-good chemicals in my brain and if i'm gonna go a level even deeper i think that feels good because well i mean baby it's sort of about putting you in your place so to speak so that's the long answer and the short answer is that you have to sit in my lap because I said so. <laughs> Listen, you can roll your eyes at me and scoff if you want to. You can get as bratty as you like. But this is how it is, and you're not going anywhere. So, why don't you tell me what's on your mind, darling? How are you feeling? Annoyed? Okay. Hey, well, listen, normally... I would explore that with you and figure out what it is you need to do. Maybe you need to go do work or you're supposed to hang out with a friend or something like that. But today, I just don't, I don't have it in me. I'm sorry, I can't be that patient right now. Today, it's about me. Yeah, you can give me those doe eyes now. It's the truth. I mean, this morning, when I let you out of bed, it was so difficult, it was so painful, but I did it because I felt like I should. I know you got stuff to do, and so did I. We're adults who got obligations to meet. But sometimes, sometimes your gut really knows what's best, doesn't it? Because then I spent hours, like I said, hours, trying to do my own thing, trying to text my friends and hang out and read and whatever. And all I could think about was how I would have preferred to spend the morning. What I would have liked to do instead of letting you go. How we might have spent the next few hours. I think about these things and can I just explain something to you? Every day, every day, I want you. And I anticipate rapidly getting you back in my arms, putting my hands on you, these hands. I think about that every day, and that's normal. But then there are days that go beyond that, that go way, way, way beyond that. You know this, I've told you about it. There are days when I text you and I just demand to see a picture of you. Because what am I going to do? I can't. I'm at work and you're at work and I'm supposed to wait six hours to see you. I can't do that. It's ridiculous. So I start making demands. I ask you for a picture, for a voice message. Or I have to look back at my phone and find some old pics. or some videos that I have of you. <laughs> what? What are you giggling about? You like knowing how much time I spend thinking about you. 
and looking at images of you. Well, when it's one of those days, I can't help it. I can't help it. I gotta get my hands on you in one form or another. And I will settle for the digital. But I won't be happy about it. In fact, I don't think I'll be happy in any form until that night when you're back in bed with me. So, that's all to say that this, of course, is one of those days. It just is. You know what it's like trying to focus watching you walk around? Watching you bustle around? Trying to do work? I'm trying to read? I'm a joke. I'm not reading shit. I'm looking at you. I'm watching when you walk towards me. And I'm watching when you walk away. Do you get where I'm coming from now? Do you understand my situation? <laughs> okay, good. Well, in that case, I guess I can let you go. I mean, I've had you in my lap for a minute. It was a decisive victory on my part. I made my point. I put you in your place. And... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not letting you go. You are not going anywhere, and I'm going to keep making that point, however I have to. Until when? Until you relax, at least. I mean, you're not trying to squirm away anymore, so that's good. But I can still feel that you're all tense. You're, like, waiting for a chance to spring out of my clutches, which, again, never going to happen. I just want to feel you relax. Just let yourself be a puddle like you normally do when I sweep you up in my arms. There you go. That's exactly what I'm talking about. See, you just had to choose it. <laughs> you just had to choose to do what I wanted. And then we were both happier. Isn't that funny how that works? So, now that you're relaxed, I want to make a little confession. Okay. Yeah, tilt your ear up to me. I'm going to speak it very softly into your ear, okay? Yeah, you want that? Okay, listen up. Listen. Darling, my difficult day didn't begin this morning. It began last night. Because last night, when you got into bed and you were so sleepy, I did not want to let you sleep. But it did because I'm your boyfriend and I love you. I didn't want to though. What I wanted to do was shake you and wake you back up and say, Hey, don't you sleep on me yet. You got business to attend to here in the waking world. You gotta spend some quality time with me. That's what I wanted to do. And... Did I make the right choice, letting you go to sleep? I don't know. I don't know. All I can tell you is that it's been, what, nearly a day since then. And I've been getting more and more frustrated and impatient with each passing hour. And I even thought, are you trying to tease me? Is that why you keep bustling around and walking back and forth in front of me? I wouldn't put it past you to be completely clueless. But I also wouldn't put it past you to know exactly what you're doing. <laughs> what? Are you giggling because that's right? No, it's not. It's not? Are you sure? You weren't trying to provoke me. Let me hear you say it. Why are you giggling? Why are you giggling, baby? Why? <laughs> Hang on, look at me. Look up into my eyes and say it. I don't believe you. Were you trying to provoke me or not? My little angel, were you? Is that what you're doing? Were you trying to provoke me, my sweet thing? Oh, I don't know if I believe you. You don't look very believable right now. Your mouth is saying no, but your eyes are laughing at me. <laughs> that wouldn't be the first time you laughed at me, would it? You know what I mean. You know exactly what I mean. I've seen you come out of the bedroom wearing something you put on that you know 
is going to get a reaction from me. And you give me the sweetest little smile and you just look at me like, what? What? And I look back at you and I smile too because you fucking know what. You do. And I think you know this morning too and I think you've known all day. <laughs> Baby. Listen, I'm all ears if you want to try to convince me otherwise. But I... Well, the important thing is that I put a stop to that. I put a stop to it, because now you're right here in my lap, and you're not going anywhere. I'll say it as many times as I need to for it to sink into your head. And look, I'll even take my hands off you. I'm going to let you go, and I'm going to open my arms completely. And if you want to, you can just hop up and run, if you think you're faster than me. <laughs> go for it. Go on. Go. You're gonna go. I'm not stopping you. You can run. <laughs> and run around the couch. Make me chase you. Chase you in circles around the house like I did a few weeks ago. I did catch you. Didn't I? So. What? No chase? No cat and mouse today, baby. Okay, let me scoop you back up. <laughs> Listen, I can't help it. You give me those doe eyes, and then, well, it brings out the wolf. What am I going to do? So, baby, I want you to tell me something. When I talk that way, do I make your heart flutter a little bit? Yeah, I do. You get a little butterflies in your stomach when I look at you like this. You do. And when I speak into your ear really softly and tell you that I want to... Well, never mind. I think I know the answer to that question. But what if I picked you up like this and I carried you to the bedroom I don't want your feet touching the ground. I want you to stay in my arms the whole time. So it's like you never leave my lap. What if I do that? If I do that and I take you in there and gently place you down on the bed exactly where I want you. If I do that, are you going to try to scramble away? Go do work. Talk to your friends. Carry on with your day. Keep teasing me. Are you going to do that? Or are you going to throw those little arms around my neck and cling to my chest and make it so easy for me to take you away and do what I want? Which of those is it going to be, my darling? Actually, wait, don't answer that question. I don't want you to tell me. I want you to show me. Come on. <laughs>